So the Maui wildfires, the death toll continues to rise there, making it now the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than a century. Yeah, Brooke is here right now with more on an update. Uh, things are constantly changing, including the death toll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are now 96 confirmed deaths, Jen and Aroxia, and unfortunately more are expected. So 2,700 structures were destroyed or damaged just on West Maui. 86% of those structures were residential. 500 hotel rooms were made available for people who were displaced over the weekend, but there are still some 4,500 people still in need of a place to stay. The governor says he wants Airbnb to make sure rental homes are available for locals. Let's talk about cell towers. Some 30 are still offline and power outages are expected to last several weeks on West Maui. The damage estimate is now at nearly $6 billion. Inland residents, meanwhile, continuing to look for missing family members while others grieve the loss of loved ones and in some cases, unfortunately, the loss of several relatives. We've been to police station, we called Red Cross, anywhere that we can find them, but nothing. We're still waiting for the calls from the government or Red Cross, but still waiting, hoping. Don't know how to express. Just tears. Yeah, in other developments, cooler residents who have running water are being actually warned by the Maui County Water Agency not to drink it and only take short, lukewarm showers in a well-ventilated room. The advisory comes on the chance that water may have hazardous levels of benzene. Some experts are cautioning right now against showering at all. Meanwhile, Oprah Winfrey, a part-time Maui resident, visited an emergency shelter yesterday. Hawaii News Now reports she has donated hygiene products, towels, and water, and she's calling for more aid for evacuees. Former President Barack Obama has appeared in a video promoting a live telethon today to raise funds for the American Red Cross of Hawaii in support of its relief effort for wildfire victims. Back to you. Brooke, thank you. And so many people across Southern California have ties to Hawaii, of course, and the island of Maui. Yes, yeah, a special place for so many here. And they're rising to the challenge. They're sending help to the devastated island. Christina Pascucci is live in Wilmington with more. You know, it's like what that quote from Mr. Rogers, when in times of need and scary times, look for the helpers. And that's exactly what's happening there. Look for the helpers. There are so many, and I know sometimes we highlight the bad, but there's so much more good. And what's happening here is a testament to that. I'll get out of the way so you can see. When you look at the sheer volume of items that have been donated, the fact they filled 10 of these 40-foot trucks that you see here to the left, that's that's pretty heartwarming. They, they want to tell people who are donating here at the Longshoreman Memorial Hall, ILWU in Wilmington, they do not need any more clothes. They need gas cans, toiletries, camping supplies, and honestly, cash donations to organizations on the ground is what's best. Now, I believe we have some video to show you of world champion MMA fighter Alima Leigh McFarlane. She's Honolulu born. She's going to be here at 1120. I just got an update from, from her as she's coming down here. She's fundraised more than $2 million in five days. She's U-hauling supplies from San Diego to be shipped out from San Pedro. We spoke to her while she was on her way up. And uh, she talked about what people need and how the funds that she's raised will not only cover the cost of supplies, but will go toward preserving Hawaiian culture and supporting families directly who need it most. They're asking for very, very specific supplies items that you would need in a power outage, solar powered, operated, you know, anything, generators, things of that nature. But above all, what we are trying to encourage people who still want to help do is donate financially. The financial um, burden that many of these surviving families are now going to take on. So rest assured that 100% of the profit is going to go to the people, to the, uh, to the aid of Maui. Oh, no, no. All right, and here's the address if you'd like to donate items. 231 West C Street here in Wilmington. They're accepting donations from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. They were originally going to accept donations until Thursday, but they've gotten so much they want to get these items out. It's going to be a week's-long journey across the Pacific, so uh, they may end up ending the donations tomorrow. So just get out here today if you can, if you're able to do that. Now, two things I want to leave you with that Alima mentioned. She said, one, if you have a trip planned to Hawaii, cancel it, even if it's another island. 
because that detracts from resources and uh, resources that need to go to Maui. And she also said developers have tried to come in, reach out to the residents who lost everything and say, hey, I'll buy your land because some of these residents can't afford to rebuild. Her goal in some of the funds she raised is to keep Lahaina residents in Lahaina and support them in their rebuilding efforts. All right, we have everything linked on BoxLA.com, including Alima's donation, or charity, rather, if you want to donate there. I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you so much, Christina, for your reporting. And stay with Fox 11 News for continuing coverage of the deadly fires on Maui. We're going to have the latest here on Fox 11 and 24-7 on our website, FoxLA.com. We also have links on our site so you can donate to those relief efforts. All right.